Alright, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happenings in YouTube, Atheist Community, and Stick Ham Fun. So I think first I'll just point out, I did make a couple of good videos this week. Uh, you know, for just raw content, the ones on objective, subjective shit, uh, good. Uh, I'll just post a link to the website and look at the little part where it has all the videos listed and, you know, pick them out. Um, but I did, yeah, response to Alex Jones was kind of funny, you know, I did the Michael Jackson thing, and, you know, you're being ignorant, <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. And uh, then I did the uh, Thunderfoot uh, Dawkins pre, uh, whatever you call it, conversation video, and uh, I think that was kind of funny. Made me made, made me laugh a little, and I don't do that too often, <laughs> especially watching my videos. Ooh. Yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, they were pretty good. Noteworthy, I think. I, I noted them. Anyway, stick ham. Yeah, it was. Um, I liked it last night. Um, you know, it was a little bit. Yeah, it didn't start off too good, and didn't finish great. I mean, just in the sense that the conversation was kind of light. It was okay. It was nice. It was pleasant enough. But the middle had a real nice argument. You know, me and Karina, and you know, I was fighting with her sorta, <laughs> and. Uh, well, just me against everybody, really. Um, you know, arguing this idea that desire is bullshit. <laughs> you know, this whole mechanism of human life is bullshit. The whole concept of beauty is bullshit. Uh, there's no real beauty in the universe. Beauty is all an illusion. <laughs> it's all a projection of our our silly little subjective, uh, touchy-feely, hungry senses. And you, you know, you take away that, and there's nothing. There's, there's no purpose in any of this crap. It's only, you know, it's only our contrived, you know, naturally, nature has contrived this motivating mechanism in us to want, and uh, and it's bullshit. It's, it's, it's that's all it is. It's a motivating mechanism. It's not motivating to do something purposeful or useful or any of that shit. No, it's just motivating uh, for most of our history because it you know, produced a survivable organism. And, uh, you know, there's every probability that now, you know, with our intelligence, another thing that was just an outcropping of, you know, it just made us better schemers. And, uh, yeah, and so now it made us capable of doing both the beauty in the universe bullshit, but at the same time the blow up the planet bullshit. So, uh, yeah, now we're capable of understanding that other things feel, we should be better people and all that crap. But we'd also blow up the planet. So, I mean, the plus side of the intelligence thing is probably going to get wiped the fuck out by the negative side of the intelligence thing. And that's the probability equation. I mean, if you do the math and put all the numbers on the chalkboard and get all Einstein about it, you're going to be stuck with some kind of number that says humans will fail. <laughs> you know, we just aren't going to be. Uh, we're going to be selected out of existence by natural selection in the end. Intelligence will be fail because uh, if you give it to an ape, it just ain't going to work. And we're fucking apes. So anyway, it was a good conversation. Yep. I don't. I'm not saying I won. Uh, we'll say it was a draw. I gave up after a while. Uh, but uh, it's a conversation that needs to take place, and so I'm going to keep pushing it. It's all this beauty crap and all this whole on. Uh, you know, singularity crap and all this Gaia crap. It's all crap. Our origins are consumption and reproduction. And everything about our psychology and our physiology is still consuming. Okay? I mean, yeah, the reproduction has gotten kind of distant. Um, but as I pointed out in one of the videos, that's it's just, it's still there. It's still motivating us. It's still driving us to do all this getting and taking and having because really it's all about making ourselves alpha, you know, deserving of um, gluttony and opulence. Opulence. So anyway, um, yeah, it was a good night, so we'll just leave it there. Uh, Coughlin was there for quite a while. You know, he's always funny. And, um, no, not always funny. He was, he was okay. Yeah, he was conversational. Let's say that's what he was. He was conversational. He won't just think of him as some kind of big shoot clown that pops around. He was, he was, um, made contribution to the conversation. Uh, you know, we argued about, about that green iran -y thing. You know, that's kind of a ugh, ugly, messy, sloppy subject. Um, who else? Um, yeah, it was that girl, Jess, wearing blue. Blue was her favorite color. Ooh, that was very deja vu. I think I've done that before. Hmm. Yeah, you think I've, I've, I've said something about um, <clears throat> a girl charming me in the video before? Yeah, I probably said that before. 
Yeah, no surprise there's deja vu there. That was really deja vu -y. Even the word Jess. Had a weird name. I don't remember the whole thing. Jess. I guess that's all, you know. The beginning part I'll stick with. Got a charming face, that girl. Oh, the rest of her is rather charming, too. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, yeah this is the usual cast of characters. Um, Nuclear Knight, uh, blah, blah, the other guy, that other person. <laughs> you know, they're all there. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was a good night. Uh, it was, you know, I was a little uncomfortable part of the night, but, uh, you know, I get that anxiety and such. But the conversation was good, so I say success just for that. All right, so on to the, the usual mundane business. <laughs> Videos by you other people. All right, Karina, yeah, made a good video this week. Really excellent. Uh, you know, I'd say one of her top ten kind of videos. Really concise. I mean, you know, this video could have been made by, you know, a, a really ugly, horrible you know gargoyle and still it was a great video <clears throat> so I mean it was all great brains of Karina kind of video and yeah it's a bonus she's cute and all that crap but you know it's kind of funny her just poning the ass of the the venom fang x monster um you know just that image you know little hippie girl doing that uh but anyway um yes it was just really really well done and uh you know, put me to shame, sort of. You know, I felt a little humiliated. <laughs> you know, besides, like a two-part video and all that, and blah blah blah. And she just did it better, faster, cleaner, just really good. So anyway, uh, and who else? Uh, okay, uh, drama flipper guy. Yeah, you see, you know, this video effect thing isn't bad. He does the, you know, head with the images behind him kind of stuff, and he, you know, put on some glasses. So he's working at it. He's working at being um, visually interesting. And, uh, you know, I probably should do some of that. And concise. I don't know if he's, like, reading a script, but he's, you know, he's being really articulate. No hum, ha, <laughs> stuff that I'm doing. Um, you know, doesn't waste any of your time. Makes his points. So, it's good stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, Anti-Bullshit Man did a really depressing video. He's more depressing than me. Uh, about how depression really is just a relative term. Are, are, rel are, are, an, are an arbitrary standard, you know, it's just this pop culture standard of, well, you're not suitably infected with the, you know, desire virus, and so we're going to, you know, say you are, are too dissatisfied, you are, you're demanding too much from life, you're expecting it to be, um, you know, too sufficient, and it's, yeah, it's just an arbitrary standard, um, that you can't right or wrong on that kind of thing. Uh, you know, with some sort of absolute, well, you sort of can. You can make the argument, and I think the argument is is that we're. It's not that we're, um, um, that, you know, that we're excessively perfectionist. It's that we're too excessively lenient. We let, we let life be way too imperfect. Our standards should be much higher. We should be damn depressed at just how disgusting and stupid the world is. Um, it should depress the hell out of us. Um, so. I think that argument can be rationally made uh, that all this you know don't worry be happy crap is really a sickness <laughs> that's the sickness don't worry be happy that's sick that's disgusting that's a crazy broken psychology there's lots to worry about uh, you know lots to be a little sad and morose about lots and lots and lots actually I mean, the pile of morosibles is pretty goddamn huge. So anyway, it was a good video. Uh, nicotine guy. Uh, I can't remember the damn video. Sorry, Nick. I'm just, you know, whatever. You make good videos. But he's, you know, he's got a lot of subscribers now. He gets to, like, cause whole subjects and everything. He gets tons of video replies, all this shit. So he's becoming a thing or whatever. He's becoming one of them. One of them popular YouTubers, damn it. So, but anyway, uh, yes, but it makes a good video. All right, nothing from Wrecking Ball Guy. Uh, okay, moving down the list here, Pyro. Yeah, I had a bit of a fight with Pyro. And, uh, yeah, right, you know, I make a 10-minute video, he makes a 15-second reply. You make a 15-minute video, he makes a, you know, 45-second reply. 
you know, just this putting off stuff, simplify to the, you know, there's just no point in even discussing something in those simplistic terms. Um, but the point was, we're sort of just agreeing with this idea of what is intelligence, and the universe invented it, and therefore it must have purpose, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, as I just pointed out, well, not just, I mean, it was a long video, so I pointed out a long time ago. Um, <laughs> you know, intelligence exists because it was a scheming tool. It was... It didn't exist so human beings could contemplate the universe and become ethical and understand pain and suffering and be, you know, decent and dignified and graceful and beautiful. No, it exists because it gave organisms a better capacity to fuck the other shit over in their environment, to win the competition, the brute force, nasty, I'm going to fuck you up competition. And that's why it exists. And it's just an uh, 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 completely disconnected from that